Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Sprouts haul for you guys. I didn't get like a ton of stuff, but I got some new items. And so I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. It's a hot day, just got in and it's one o'clock and I don't plan to leave again. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Thank you so, so much for always coming back to my channel and watching my hauls, especially. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will put the prices with everything for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you next time. So real quick before I show the produce items that I just got from Sprouts, this is all right here, these oranges. They kind of look like lemons, but they're oranges and some peaches, nectarines, plums. And then I have a huge thing of strawberries in the fridge already. This was all from the farmer's market over the weekend. So that's why I didn't have to go maybe too overboard with fruit this time, but I just thought I would show you that. I think we spent like $25 or so. Again, we got a huge thing of strawberries and they're amazing. Anyway, wanted to to show you that I did need to go ahead and get some more bananas I've been eating more bananas again I go through spurts where I do and I don't and if I don't get to them though I will just totally freeze them and they're really good for smoothies of course and making uh, acai bowls nice cream bulking up a protein shake whatever it is bananas kind of you can't go wrong <laughs> but sometimes I do just like them fresh or on oats which by the way I'm gonna do right after this and really really good these are some big ones too so got those I also went ahead, I just didn't even pull it out. I think I'm just gonna put it in the fridge like this, in fact, but um, I have some of these reusable uh, mesh uh, produce bags and uh, I'm going, oh, by the way, it just kind of reminds me guys. And again, always thank you so, so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. It's incredible. I love making things for you guys, but it just reminded me, I do still have some reusable shopping totes and this month for September, I'm still gonna include bonus gifts with any order. Again, my website is linked below. And again, I really appreciate it. So just wanted to throw that out there. It reminded me, uh, but anyway, I went ahead and got three heads here of red leaf lettuce. It's my favorite. I don't know what it is, but red leaf lettuce is where it's at my friends. And it's actually kind of hard to find, uh, but Sprouts always has the best. I can eat like all of this. Anyway, I got three heads of that. And then I also got some red grapes here. We got some green grapes from Costco last weekend for my parents. They gave us some. They were so good. Oh my goodness. They were so good. But my kiddo and I do prefer the uh, red ones and Nate prefers the green ones. And we won this time. So anyway, <laughs> got some of those. They were on sale as well. They were really good price. And then I went ahead and got these massive, like these are huge, uh, uh, sweet potatoes. I showed on my vlog yesterday. If you caught that, we got uh, some yams and I just didn't really like them or the way we cooked them up. It just didn't work out. It was kind of a bust, but I love like making these in a pan on the stove with a little bit of that chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. It is incredible. It's that sweet and salty and kind of a spicy kick all in one. It's awesome. Oh my goodness. Love it. So I'm going to make a bunch of that, but these are huge. So that's why I only got three. Got a bag here of carrots. We've been back on our carrot game of just, you know, cutting those up and having them with peanut butter. Delicious. And I went ahead and got two more cantaloupes too. Again, I told you guys I'm going to keep buying these until they're bad. Right now they are in season. They are super cheap and they have been nothing short of delicious. Like they are so good and I'm going to get them week to week. I love cantaloupe. It has to be cold though. I'm kind of weird. It has to be cold. <laughs> and I also went ahead and got one thing of blueberries. You know the drill there. I always have blueberries on hand for my oats in particular. I would normally even get more, but again, since we got so many strawberries, I want to make sure we get through those. So I just went ahead and got one little case here of blueberries this time. Got two bags here of edamame ready. Uh, this is the ready to eat kind. It's in the frozen section and you literally can just like basically unthaw this and eat it as is or you can heat it up with a little bit of water even um, if you want it warm whatever you like this is just such a great source of protein and super super healthy i also went ahead and got two of their mirror glen i love this brand overall i think this brand in general is one of the like very clean brands out there for like as far as ingredients goes you can like read everything which is good uh, but i got a couple of these because right now they're doing it through wednesday 
So you still have a few days if you're watching this the day it comes out. They're really big on their buy one, get one free sale right now. Now, overall, I didn't get too many items that fell into that category. There just wasn't a lot that I was looking for personally, but some of them were, and this was one of them. So these were buy one, get one free. And again, this is just a really clean brand. And just to have these on hand for different pastas, I thought I would grab those. Yum. Cabernet marinara and Cabernet marinara because obviously. Actually, funny enough, there was like tomato uh, basil one and then like regular marinara and then like a garlic one. And actually, this one actually had the less amount of like calories to it. So I was like, well, might as well just get this. Anyway, got that. And then, you guys, I talked to you about this recently that this Alpha brand. I had seen before and I passed on it because it was kind of pricey. And um, when I mentioned that to you guys, so many of you told me, Kim, that brand is amazing. You've got to try it, blah, blah, blah. And so this time I went and they were actually on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed a few items that I saw there. They had the plant-based, just original beefy. That's kind of a cute name, uh, but it basically beefless crumbles. Got some of those and their protein pack too, which is what I do look for when you're talking about like fake out meats like yes it's kind of vegan junk food it is but I am someone that's always looking for protein sources um, eating plant-based and sometimes I have to go to these and so sometimes though veggie patties and those kinds of things may not always have the most protein in them so I do try to find alternatives that do anyway that's my spiel if you're not new here you know this <laughs> but it has like 11 grams of protein per half cup which really isn't too bad 80 calories try that out and then these nuggets they look look legit, but I haven't tried them obviously yet. We will see. And again, I think these have some protein as well. 13 grams. It's even more for four nuggets. I thought the kiddo would like those. And also these grilled like chicken strips. And again, protein on them as well. 10 grams and 80 uh, calories. I'm excited to try these. Now I had a little coupon from our last vegan cuts taste test box which was for this brand for their like tamales I think it was and I could not find them there because I was going to redeem it I had it on me uh but I didn't see it so I'm gonna have to keep my eye out for that and then another thing too guys I always forget to say this in the beginning but be sure you have the sprouts app and there are additional digital coupons on there that you clip you just click it and <laughs> make sure you do that though and you'll have even extra savings on certain items well this was one of them. I have yet to try this. Now, we recently did a taste test from Light Life against the Beyond Meat uh, brand for their sausages and their uh, meat patties. And I haven't tried, though, their ground beef. And now Beyond Meat has the ground beef, too. But it's pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie. It is. Well, this was on sale for like $4.99. But also with their digital coupons, I want to say, I'll put the price here, but I want to say I ended up getting this for like $3. So I'm like, well, I got to try it. <laughs> and so I want to give that a whirl. We'll see. I'm going to assume it's going to be pretty good. This brand overall is good, but we'll see. Let me know if you've tried it, what you think. This is a new one for us. We've been back on the kombucha kick a little bit, and especially Nate. He just really enjoys it, and I do too. But the Boo, I have not tried this brand yet, and it was on sale, and I thought I would give it a whirl. It's a little bit different in flavors too, ginger, peach, and then tropical, which I don't know exactly what that means, but it sounds good. <laughs> and uh, we'll give that a whirl. Now, tomorrow, actually, which actually is today when you're seeing this, wish me luck, my friends, please, but uh, it's actually a day we are going to go back up for another trail run. Oh my goodness. Okay. Our anniversary, our 14 year anniversary is actually Tuesday, September 3rd. And this is how we're going to spend our anniversary time together. We're going to go on a mountain the day before and then probably just sleep all day Tuesday. Anyway, <laughs> um, but that's the plan. So with that said, I wanted to go ahead and pick up a couple uh, protein shakes that we can take with us. We have all of our protein powders over there and we have them daily, but when we're gonna not be home and we want something, this is one of my go-tos. I love this brand, the Evolve brand, so good. Um, and actually all their flavors have been very good too, but this is the Mellow Mocha flavored and then the chocolate one. To me, if I remember correctly, they taste like identical. Like they're, they're really, really good. Uh, but anyway, get whatever one you see because you won't be disappointed. But love these 20 grams of protein. And we'll have this in a little like cooler uh, for when we're done. 
All right, so we've been talking recently, uh, when I say that we, I mean with you guys, <laughs> about how you guys know we are on the kick right now of Cliff Builder Bars. Now, on one hand, they are my guilty pleasure, they are my daily candy bar. Truth be told, I've already had one today, and I pretty much have one every single day. But, but, <laughs> I will say, they aren't necessarily the cleanest. And a lot of you have said this too, they're not the cleanest uh, thing out there really uh, for ingredients. And is it something I really want to incorporate every day knowing that? Well, I'll be honest, I have because it's just so, so good. But, but, I do really like the Go Macro bars too. I really do. Uh, so I figured maybe I can start kind of winging off a little bit and every other day or so, this is how I think, <laughs> I can have one of these instead. Uh, if you've never had a Go Macro Bar, they are just awesome, they really are. Uh, but they're very different. They are different than like the chocolate coated and all that, but it's again, still very good. So I got assorted uh, flavors in this. I think I've had all of these in at one, one point. Uh, the Blissful Daybreak is blueberry and cashew butter. We got mocha chocolate chip, uh, maple sea salt. I may not have had that one. Uh, coconut almond butter chocolate chips, dark chocolate and almonds. I mean, it's all sounding great. <laughs> uh, oat milk chocolate chip. Maybe I haven't had that. I think I have, but I love these too. They don't pack as much protein as a Cliff Builder bar. They don't, but they're still full of protein and still really good for us. And I think I might just try to kind of get onto these too. The only other downfall of this, and I'm just talking to you guys about it since we've kind of all been chatting about it recently, uh, they're not really on sale too often. And in fact, right now they weren't at Sprouts at all uh, this time. But I will say when they are on sale, usually Sprouts is the place that does do it. So I'll just keep my eye out because you guys know with the Cliff Bars, we buy like boxes at a time when they are on sale. And I would totally do that with these as well when they're on sale, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I got those this time. Now, speaking of Cliff, this is the Cliff brand. You, a couple of you told me, Kim, you got to try the Mojo, Moho, Mojo bars by Cliff. I think you'll really love them. I think they're for you. And I'm like, well, I'm in. So I did go ahead and get these two. Now, um, a couple of you told me too that not all of them are vegan. So thanks for pointing that out because it's kind of hard to tell right off the bat, but some of them do have honey. And from what I saw, so these were the two though that didn't. This is the peanut butter with pretzel. I mean, come on. Oh boy. And then salted caramel, which I love usually as a flavor. So I'm excited to try these out too. This was per your recommendation. And then this is a new one, guys. You guys know we buy cold brew coffee all the time. We just do. We're, we're little addicts running around with our coffee. <laughs> but uh, we normally get the stock coffee, S-T-O-K, and just the unsweetened, and that's our favorite. But they don't have that at Sprouts. We usually get it at Vons. And this was actually, like, a new tag was uh, placed above it. Like, it's a new item. at Kitu, I think, is the brand. I'm not sure. I could be butchering that. But they had this in a protein one, too, but it is, like, with whey protein. So I did stay away from that, but they had the unsweetened here. And it was pretty cheap. It was actually the same price as our stock one. So I thought we would give this the world try it out see how it is and we'll go from there but we're kind of picky I'm not gonna lie <laughs> we'll see I went ahead and got I should have done it guys last time sprouts had this on sale and I should have done it you were right stock up Kim when they're on sale and I didn't and they're not on sale anymore and these are so freaking expensive and I don't know why but I'm obsessed like it's just my favorite plant milk out there guys the flax milk with added protein it has to be the with added protein one flax milk without that is actually pretty reasonable in price but when they put that protein oh my god <laughs> but this was $4.99 I got one <sighs> I have no regrets, it's fine. I also went ahead and got some of these. Um, I thought we could take these up for our hike as well, but these Zevia uh, energy drinks, we've had these before. They're really, really good, um, and they were on coupon too, and I might've had another like additional savings too, I can't remember. Now, if you thought I couldn't make peanut butter 
um, even more not healthy, then you were wrong. So <laughs> anyway, guys, okay, again, back to their buy one, get one free time. So I mean, I had to do it. It was just staring me down. They had their like uh, freshly made peanut butters. This is just the creamy salted. So I mean, that's, you know, it is what it is. But then buy one, get one free, right? Guys dark chocolate peanut butter, 250 calories per two tablespoons. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but can you imagine this on my oatmeal? I can, I can imagine it, but I don't want to imagine it. I want to actually have it. So here we are. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, it's going to be sinful. I got to watch it, but I did it. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know I'm obsessed with peanut butter in all forms, so there was that. They also had the buy one, get one free for the Skinny Pop. Um, I've been noticing lately, I don't have this all that often, and sometimes when I do, my stomach starts to hurt. And I don't know if it's this, but I'm gotta assume it is. So I gotta just watch how much of this I have, but I love popcorn, I really do. And Skinny Pop, most flavors, um, cause there is flavored ones too, are vegan, but one of them, like the aged white cheddar, I believe it is, is not. But then there's like another cheddar that is. So just double check, but this is just the original, which is delicious. Now these were a new one for me, and these were buy one, get one free as well. Um, these smart bagels, basically they took a bagel, they squished it and called it 100 calories. Let's keep it real. <laughs> but it sold me, so um, it's just a like kind of a flatbread almost. And it looks actually really, really good. But sometimes we just, you know, we gotta have our bread kick, but trying to be a little bit better. Um, the fiber content is pretty good on this too, which I like. There's some protein in it. So, I mean, there you have it. I'm into it. So let me know if you've tried these. They are vegan. And I got the whole wheat one and then the everything one. And I think, if I remember right, we have some of the uh, Trader Joe's cream cheese still, the vegan one. Oh, so good. And if not, I'll just slather that on it. <laughs> But anyway, that was everything I got this time. Not too much, but I think because we already did uh, stock up a little bit from the farmer's market, we're good to go. Last week, we ended up with a lot of extra food, which is great and appreciated from my parents from Costco of like, again, grapes and like fresh foods. She also got us some of those like individual hummus packs. But overall, we actually didn't get through a ton of our pantry food. So like pastas and stuff like that. So really, I didn't need to get too much this time. Uh, we pretty much did just live off of like, you know, good food, clean food. <laughs> uh, so we'll try that again, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thank you so, so much for watching and we will see you guys.